Hello, inner girls in the French hills. It's Doll. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I will be serving you a Marowak break video. And this has got to be one of my most favorite break cards because you're never losing. Your opponent is actually working their way to their defeat. And this is because of its attack. Bone Revenge. The more prize cards they take, the more damage this does, and the more easily it is for their Pokemons to get KO. And you're gonna see this. Now, Bone Revenge, let's put this number in perspective 20 damage plus 40 more for every prize card. So, two prize cards, that's 100 damage. And that's crazy for two, two energies. Now, four prize cards, say 2x Pokemon's worth, that's gonna be 180, easily KO all the Corp. EX Pokemons out there. Wild Lord, you just make everything terrible. Now, five. Okay, five is just insane, but it's gonna KO Mega Pokemons, and of course, you're definitely gonna see a five prize card knockout. That's in the best for last. Now, moving on, this is a right card. It could use its previous evolution's attack. Is there anything good? Yes. We're gonna skip sharpshooting, 30 damage to one of their bench Pokemon, but Bone Windmill. You do a significant amount of damage to their EX Pokemons. We're going to have some damage enhancers, by the way. So this is going to nearly two-shot them. And this thing will fly back onto the bench. Safe and sound. Won't be in harm's way. And you can throw out something useless or useful. And these two cards are going to be Halucha. His job is to look good. He just stands there. Only 70 hit points, but he has a free retreat. So the... If he survives, then well, he'll just retreat back. Your Marowak is gonna come out and finish the job. But let's say if it's an EX Pokemon, Flying Press, the 60 damage for an EX Pokemon, but there's nothing for it if it's not EX Dex, which is why his job sometimes is just to look pretty. But if it is, if it is, like in the best for last match, he's gonna eat and destroy EX Pokemon so hard. You're going to see this insane damage come through. In the best for last match. Now, we have Halucha EX, and right away you're looking at his hit points. You're like, what in the world? 130? That's right. Come on, take my Halucha out if you can. Two prize cards. It's just gonna be baked by Marowak stronger, and it has counter attack. So when this thing comes out, you hit this thing. It's just gonna slap you back for 20 damage. But those 20 damage add up and make it very easy for Marowak break to just finish the job. Now here's the thing, this thing is actually strong because if you give it a double color synergy and something else, it does up to 100 damage. You need a stadium, it can be your opponent's stadium, your stadium, usually when one stadium's up, it just stays there, so that's nothing to worry about that. This thing ruins so many videos because he won, literally won the game by himself, so many dark matches. But this is Marowak break, which is why he only gets the first match to himself. Otherwise. Marowak can be here to show, because that's here what you're here to see. Now, a very important Pokemon, a support card, this is the new Octillery. You've seen it before, when you have less than 5 cards, he gives you up to 5 cards. You're never going to be low on cards, which is why this is so good. Unless you do have more than 5 cards that you don't need. And we're going to fix this by getting Ultra Ball. Discard what 2 cards that you don't need, get a free Pokemon, whichever you need, like a evolution chain kind of Pokemon, and, well, Octillery is going to give you more cards that you need, hopefully, and, all right, damage increasing source, all these Pokemons, their damage can go up much more than their base values, strong energy, 20 more damage counts as the fighting energy, awesome, they all stack by the way, we have a muscle band, one Poke tool, 20 more damage, we have the fighting stadium, 20 more damage against EX, Pokemon, so EX decks are gonna get destroyed. Of course, you're gonna see that in the second match. Yeah, let's see what else. We're gonna quickly move through the other supporters. We have Corno, Fighting Pokemon, whatever you need. Halucha, Marowak, Chain Evolution, oh, Little Halucha, she'll get it for you. And the item you need most, which could be energies like Professor's Letter, or a retreat such as Escape Row, or maybe something to evolve and doesn't involve an Ultra Ball. Maybe you do need Ultra Ball. Evo Soda. So you don't have to discard anything. So this is why it's it's nice and tab. And those are my core. Oh, Burst Seeker. You need another supporter after Corna? Get this right here. And plus it's nice on its own. 
Also, we have Birch. This game, I would have preferred more Birches because you don't have to discard anything. And there's a lot of discard going on. You must play with fire. You must discard the right cards because you can't. It's. I wish I had Super Rods. We're just going to say that. And Sycamore. Sycamore sometimes. He gives you lots of cards, but if you're holding very nice cards, you're just going to have to eat it and hope what remains will pull through. Which it does, but I wish I had a Super Rod. Now, let's see. I, I think that's, that's it. What matches are you going to see with this Marowak break? They're going to be awesome, guys. First match, you're going to see something very lucky, very funny. And Halucha is going to have this day. Second match, you want to see EX Pokemons go down. Fighting deck, you're going to see Bone Windmill as well as Fighting Stadium all working together. Third match, I'm going to get Ability Lock. Wall of it, who shut down Octillery's? I will be stuck. But there's just one fatal mistake. We'll see, and this is probably part of what happened. And final match, of course, I got to show you five prize card right there. And you'll see how it works up to that point. So let me show you what this card is. So here, welcome to the Marowak break match. And oh, this is a good hand, comparatively to the other bad hands, which you'll see in the future. Okay, so I'm not gonna throw Cubone number right now. Just, just hide, hide my, uh, hide my cards. And uh, you know, in the future, probably shouldn't do that because there's this, this judge thing. It may happen, but it's unpopular because judge gives you the least amount of cards. And many other supports other than Birch, but then Birch is just Birch. So we're gonna go against Fire. This is a Fennec deck. Well. Of course, Fennec thing. It's a Del Fox deck, and we'll see how this goes. It, it has very low hit points right now. It may even KO itself, but let's let's get this started. I'll throw down Cubone, Remoraid, and here we go. One energy for Halucha. I'm gonna save my hand because I have such such good cards. So that's just it, and we'll see what he does. Now, if he attacks me, Halucha is like, oh. What'd you do that for? And he's gonna counter attack for 20 damage. Oh, it has evolved into the new brazen flamethrower discard the energy. Ooh, that's that's uh, that's tough. It's gonna actually attack me? What? You have to discard energy, which is gonna be a fire energy, and you take 20 damage. You know, if I have a double colorless energy, I'm Just drew it right then, guys. I just drew it right then. So we're just gonna finish this right now. Here we go. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a uh, oh, best hand ever. So here, welcome to another Marowak break match, and I will be going against another fighting deck, Machamp Lucario EX Machamps. Okay, so if I hurt this thing over 90 hit points, I'm pretty much gonna get. get Actually, for Lucha, you have much less hit points. You just need to do 70 damage to it, and you're gone. Well, that, 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 that looks doesn't sound so good. So I'm going to use Professor's Letter. You know, give me some more energy cards. Apparently, those are the only energy cards I have in my deck. So they're now in my hand. And let's go ahead and... Hey, at Stadium, we'll, we'll score one of our last remaining energy cards down. Okay, I've got a Halucha. And... I'm going to charge up my Cubone, guys. I'm going to charge up my Cubone and wait this out. Oh, Birch. Birch. Let's go ahead and put a Muscle... I did not see that Birch. I did not see that Birch. Let's go ahead and put a Muscle Band on you. And then I will... I want my turn. Yes, I want my turn for now. I have way too many energies in my hand. I want to keep those. And I want to evolve this Marowak. So we're not going to Birch. Yeah. All right. He is... She has evolved the Machoke, and when it evolves into Machamp, we're going to be seeing amazing damage, but she's no energies whatsoever. Oh, okay. I'm going to take this chance. I'm going to take this chance, and let's put a let's put a better energy on you. We're going to put this... We're going to go for Halucha, guys. Evolve Marowak, and I can evolve Marowak Break if I discard some... If I discard one of these energies. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Yeah, we'll... We'll play it safe. I'll just play it safe, wait a turn, and take momentum next turn. So, come on. Plus, this Machamp. Oh, 
Machamp, the other Machamp and Zappa with Fighting Fury. All her Pokemons deal more damage. She's discarding her energies this way as well, so one and one energy went down. Instead of going for a Pokemon, Shaman. Uh oh, we may see momentum coming. Three more cards. She's got a nice big giant hand. And Professor's Letter, enough more energies to burn through Scorched Earth. And she's not going to charge up Machamp. She's going to charge up Lucario instead. Muscle Band on Lucario, so we switch. Uh oh, it's coming out. And takes the first hit on me. 70 damage. Oh, it's not going to survive next turn. It is not going to survive next turn. In that case, uh, I can't escape, bro. Oh, I will escape, bro. So first, let me evolve, uh, let me evolve you. Or let me put an energy on you. Then I will escape, bro. So, hey, Haluja, come back. And then Lucario is going to come. I don't know who she sends out. She'll send out the shame because it's not worth anything. And <laughs> we're going to use Bone Windmill. But first, let me sick more because I don't trust my Birch nor my Ultra Ball. I can't actually Ultra Ball. And this stadium, hey, she has plenty of EX Pokemons. Let's go replace that stadium. And we have some Ultra Balls. We're definitely going to go and throw away. Oh, this is tough. Birch again, yes. I'll toss away Birch and the stadium. You know, both stadiums are just fine with me. And I'll take down a Remoraid because I need, I need constant card draw, guys. All right, we're going to toss this out. And... Let's... I could get a Marowak break, but I don't need it just yet. Let's use Bone Windmill. And here we go. Take the Shaman. 80 damage to it. And we're going to send uh, the Weakened Halutra out. So this way Bone Revenge can hit pretty hard. At least I'm hoping so. So here we go. She's going to use Tierno. More cards. And she's got a Shaman up front. And a big Lucario in the back. Switch. Uh-oh. Lucario is now back up front again. And it's going to take down my Halucha, which is perfect. Oh, come on. Take it out. Because I've got Bone Revenge. Trick Coin. What? what? Alright, Shaman has now a Trick Coin, but I guess when it used Sky Returns, it comes back. And there was, this, the fighting was censored, but Halucha was just taken down, guys. I'm hiding it so you don't have to see the core. There he goes in the Discord file. Just safe for kids now. And yeah, we're going to, of course, send out Marowak. Because he can just take a free hit and send out his buddy. Or Halucha. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a bit weird, but okay. I'm gonna use my Ultra Ball, discard these two, my final final cards, and grab out a not a Remorade but Octillery. We will summon the Octillery out, and if you be nice to it, he'll give you free cards. So Octillery, would you please give me five cards? And he's like, yeah, man, sure, whatever, man. And he has a whatever photo. Five more cards. This could be a Marowak break. Nope, but I can use the Evil Soda for a Marowak break. Can I? Can I actually knock this out? I think I may may be able to. So I've, I'm doing the hundred damage right now. 120 damage with this. 160 damage with a. Mu I said the magic number. I said the magic number. It was soft and due to counterattacks. Okay, let's just get this on the way. We'll throw down Halucha. And we're gonna use corn and just get another another evolution line going, which is gonna be Cubone. Cubone. And uh, I need a I need an item. I think I may need an escape rope. Or if it does not exist, I'll just grab a War Seeker. So I can have access to another supporter. Which we'll is toss you down. Alright, revenge time, revenge! Get revenge for that Halucha. We're not using bone windmill, we're using bone revenge. Take this Lucario down! 140 damage! Goodbye! And two prize guards for me. So now, yep, those those energies, double colors energy and lucha, they come back and come into the fight. So I, the champ's coming out. The champ's out. Uh oh, it's got an energy on it, but you know what? We're gonna we got what we're gonna use the bone windmill this time, which bone windmill, I'll just retreat, send out my halucha. And, yeah, I'll, I'll, maybe I might do that on purpose. I'm gonna definitely do that on purpose. I'm gonna charge up one of my Haluchas, this one right here, and give this one a Muscle Band, because it definitely will do, do some fighting for me. And let's go ahead and use this Evil Soda against another Marowak Breakout. Oh, it's just a Marowak. It's, I'm, I'm going, I'm getting hang ahead of myself. Cubo, you're now a Marowak. And because I cannot KO this yet, I'm gonna use the Bone Windmill. So hit. Smack this thing for a bunch of damage. A hundred damage, and we're gonna throw you down. We're gonna toss out Halucha. I, if I was safer, 
I would have sent this Halucha out. Just let him one prize card, but I'm going to be bold. I will let you take my Halucha as sacrifice. Halucha is like, you son of a jerk. So, <laughs> goodbye, Halucha. Nice seeing you, man. And you're going to... Oh, she healed up. She healed it up. Steaming mad. And it, 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 it survives. This is weird. It now survives, and this thing confuses. Oh, oh well. I, I'm, I will take advantage of the situation. In that case, I will just go ahead and put an energy down just for the retreat. We're gonna use the vessel hand. If I get a, if I get an escape, that would be weird. It wouldn't have helped. So we're going to retreat. Send out our uh, our Marowak now. So it's just one energy gone. We're going to use. Do I want this guy up front? We're gonna use Bone Revenge. We are gonna use Bone Revenge. Somehow, this Alocha miraculously survived because she she reduced her damage by healing it, which I did not expect. So, two prize cards get for me. Ola Xander. I'm gonna kidnap you, the Shaman, and we're gonna send it to the discard pile. So my champ is up. Tiano, four cards. Okay, okay, and another my champ comes out. And she's put a double color star and she oh this is for retreat. She has enough to retreat to kind of send a machamp up. Victory. Alright. Oh, got to see Bone Window, right? So here. Welcome to another Marowak break match. And Ooh, this thing will be terrible if we put it up front. But instead he chose Gengar, so that's lucky for me. Alright. So I'm definitely gonna bridge it. Let's fill up my side of the bench with Rim Raid. Halucha, second Rim Raid or a Cubone, I don't know, but I like more draw power, so we'll definitely throw that down. And that Cubone should definitely not be up front. Okay, I'm just getting my turn. I'll save my decision on the Muscle Band. Yeah, it might be Halucha, it might be Cubone, I don't know. So there is a energy, so now it can, it has a free retreat. It may just retreat into a Wobbuff, but I think he's gonna take the offensive and attack. Something. He's gonna attack something. We don't know. But with the corner, I am able to grab an escape rope and retreat, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And then I'll grab an evil soda and get more cards. To oh whoa, okay. Pay attention to what he's doing. He's got Phantom. He's trying to item and ability lock me. That's not good. That's not good. So Sean up more cards. Oh, we have a challenge ahead of us. So Who's he gonna attack? Oh my gosh, he has a Rose Substitute. This is where you need Lysander. Who are you gonna attack? Cubone? My Rim Raid? One of my Rim Raids? Halucha? Okay, he's gonna attack the Halucha. Well, let's uh, let's see what we can do. Here we go. We're gonna involve the Octillery on the Cubone. He has a drag onto the right card. And Marowak onto the back one, because the front one is not so safe. And okay, let's. Oh, I I don't. I need some more space. So let's go ahead and use Corna. Let's grab. Let's grab a big Halucha. Yeah, let's grab a big Halucha. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab. I should get another Evil Soda. Should I? Shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab an Evil Soda. If I don't have an Evil, oh there it is. There it is. Woo! I'm lucky. Okay, we'll throw down the Halucha. Evil Soda. And here we go. Three Octillery. I can't count. There are two Octillery's. And now a Bessel Hand. Give me more cards, man. Don't want to play that yet. I want a regular energy. I want a regular energy. There we go. There's a regular G. And an Escape Rope. And a Marowak. So let's go ahead and evolve Marowak. And, oh, if I Escape Rope, this Gengar is going to go away. And one of his Wall Fets is going to come out. I don't want that. Okay, let's charge up Halucha. Let's just charge up Halucha. And hey. I, I, I don't want I don't want those wall pits to come out so I can keep using my artilleries. And I'll just There we go. End my turn. Finally, so many so many movements. Alright. So now he can use if he has a double color energy, he can use Dark Order. Item lock me. Curse. Forest curse. If he's inactive, he's this deck is back. I can't believe it. Darn the float stone. So now I can get ability locked or item locked. I better play everything I can before this goes up. And it has the float stone. Muscle band. 
Oh, we're gonna see it go into effect. Dark Order is gonna hurt me. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. And now he's gonna block my abilities, so I cannot... I cannot use my special moves. Well, that's okay. Luckily, I can just use this. Alright, escape rope, come back, Marowak. We may need you, even though you're nearly dead. One hit point from going down. But I'm not gonna let you get that prize card yet. I should. I should, but Halucha's gonna come out, so he's probably gonna send this. The Robo Substitute out. No, he's gonna send that. Okay. In that case, I'll use that. And my, my abilities are locked, but that's okay. I got Birch. Can I count on you, Birch? Come on, Birch. Yes, he says, you can count on me, and I don't have a stadium. Well, that really stinks. Okay, in that case, we're just going to use Moon Stomp. 80 damage, and... Yeah. Man, I need a Lysander just Gengar out. This is going to be a pain. Like, now... Drats, it's retreated because it has a float stone, and my Halucha's in, in, in trouble. Lysander, are you... He's still somewhere... Dark Order again. Damage increase. No, no. And now that's out. And <laughs> it took 20 damage. Woo! Okay. Well, the only person who can go up now is, well, you. And I can't do anything else. I really just can't do anything else because he's locked me, locked me down. And get rid of this Robo Substitute at least. It wouldn't have mattered. Then Gengar's going to come out. And I'm, the lock's gonna continue. The lock's gonna continue. I may just have to throw this Marowak out for, for in the meantime. Yep, Marowak. Little, you're coming out. So now... Well... Here comes the Gengar coming out. Gotta get rid of me. Gotta get rid of this first Alucha. This is not going well. It's coming out. 90, 100 damage. But he's gonna take 20 damage. So because of the counterattack. So you go Alucha and just bite back. And all these energies go down. Oh my gosh. He's got item locks, he's got ability locks, and he definitely wants ability lock me because of my... I cannot use a vessel hand. Okay, at least I can get a Marowak Breaks out to counterattack really hard. Got another Robo Substitute. Boy, Xander, I need you, man. Just need to snipe this guy off because this guy is in a lot of trouble. I may just bridge it Another Halucha out and just let it just let it come down. Sharp shooting 30. Oh, you can snipe this off. Alright, come on, Red Hood. You gotta move, man. Just take him out. Here we go. Night attack. Oh, Lucha. 30 damage. Just, hey, yo, he stayed up front? You wanna stay up front? You didn't want to bounce back? Oh. Okay, okay. Marowak, you're up at the front. And now, my abilities are ready to go. Here we go, Marowak, and let's let's discard some cards. I don't need Bridget. I may need that other Cubone. Let's, let's discard an energy. Yeah, one energy. I'm not sure that was the smartest move for that. And we'll take out Marowak Break. Here we go, the Marowak Break is out. And that last spot should be for Cubone or should be for Halucha. No, I'm definitely gonna get another breakout. Here we go. And we're gonna discard you and the double colors energy. And we're gonna grab the Marowak break again. And we'll just go ahead and evolve that. And I'm... Mm, I cannot do anything else except a vessel hand. Oh, more cards because that there's nothing... Oh, fighting stadium, fighting stadium and Korna. Okay, let's go Korna and see what we get. A uh, big halucha. Mm, yeah, let's, I think that's the smartest thing to take out. The only thing we can really take out is uh, halucha. Open oh, item. What kind of item? We definitely want a muscle band. Here we go. Muscle band. And okay, we'll throw this down. We'll put a muscle band on on this Marowak. And let's let's see. I think that's all I can do. We're gonna use either bone windmill. Or Bone Revenge. Let's go for Revenge, guys. Bone Revenge! 160 damage, getting rid of this Gengar! <laughs> he should have just jumped back, but he was like, oh, I'm just gonna use my 30 hit damage attack. Gotcha!
you're still here. Welcome to another Marowak break match. And, oh boy, Lugia up in front. As well as a Giratina. You know, this Lugia looks ready to go. So let's go ahead and use this escape row. Bring that Giratina up front. Put a strong energy on all my artilleries with the Sycamore. But we cannot lose momentum. Sometimes these hands just really suck. So let's go ahead, Sycamore. And we'll see what we get. Oh, hey, we've got this uh, fighting stadium. And here we go. Flying fresh, shining spirit. Take this. 100 damage. Oh my gosh, she's going to KO this Giratina next turn. Maybe I would, maybe I should have actually went for Giratina. Um, get the first in Lugia and just KO that thing. Because now she can just get me next turn. You know? Maybe I would just get another Halucha and just, just, just end the game like this. Yes. Actually, if, if, if it had another energy, it wouldn't have knocked me out. So I, Oh, he healed it. He healed it. Okay. A little bit more time for Lugia, but and this Lugia is gonna for sure KO me. So we better we better do something fast. Let's go ahead and use Corna, and I am gonna grab out Halucha. Hal yeah, I'm gonna grab out Halucha. Here we go, Halucha. You're gonna be coming up next. And for my item card, I would like. I already have an Ultra Ball. Let's grab some more energy cards. We'll grab Professor's letter. And Professor Slatter. Mm, I need some more energy cards, please. Gonna grab all my fighting energy cards. We'll throw down Halucha. And then I'll put an energy onto the little Halucha. And let's get the Marowak chain going. I'm gonna discard the stadium because I already have one. As well as an escape rope. Don't really need it too badly now. Let's grab out a Cubone. There we go. Hello, Cubone. And just toss it down on the ground. Now I can get my evolution chain going. We'll say Birch for next turn, and here we go. Flying press, another 100 damage. You the man, Halucha. You the man. So, that Pokemon Center lady was able to buy him one turn. And here we go. He's gonna shot us. Let's see what he gets. This Giratina, there's no way this Giratina can survive. But this Lugia in the back, I should have just dealt with it. I should have just dealt with it, but whatever. Oh no! Deep Hurricane's gonna destroy my stadium, and one shot my Halucha, which is a good thing. I I, I hope it goes down. Okay, oh, don't tell him that. that. All right, we're gonna evolve Marowak, and I'm gonna put an energy. Yeah, let's give it on the uh, big Halucha. We want big Halucha to fight. And I don't want to. Yeah, let's go ahead and Birch. Let's go ahead and Birch, guys. We need more cards, and he loves me heads. Got the Marowak break, got another Halucha, a double colorless, oh, I I needed that last turn, guys. So, here we go, we're gonna use sh Flying Press, get get out of here, guaranteed 100 damage. It was the EX card, the middle one is always the luckiest, so let's pick the two middle ones. Muscle Band, another Cubone, oh, okay, not so lucky. No, Giratina is like, you took out my dragon buddy, I'm here to get you. And it can use Aero Ball, or it's probably going to use fly Hurricane, Deep Hurricane, probably. Probably, that way he can get rid of my fighting same, because it's really hurting him. Now, alright Lugia, let's fight, unless he does not have another energy, it does not matter. Halucha, you did your job, you took out a Giratina, great job man, so we'll, we'll take it from here. And he's just waiting, cause there's no way he can go. He can live another turn. Oh, there's that four energies, expensive. And Shauna's coming out. Oh, I have I, I played Corna, didn't I? I have a verse seeker for perfect. Fortunately, I pulled all my fighting energies. I know that because that professor's letter told me I pulled it. So here we go. Deep Hurricane, hundred fifty damage. Okay, okay, let's throw out, we kind of have to use Halucha at this point. We'll throw out Halucha, he has one more fighting energy than needed, and we'll just give him one of these. We'll give him a... Yeah, it's 20 damage somewhere, I know he's not going to survive, but here we go. Cubone, Marowak Break is now out, but with no energies. Let's, we need to, we need to fix that, we need to fix that. Let's let me use this and grab out. Sycamore. 
away all my rim raids. But first, let's let's use this Ultra Ball, get rid of these two cards. Oh, one of them has to be Marowak Break. Ah, and then I'm gonna grab out another Hulucha. Yep, we'll put a Lucha down here. There we go, and Sycamore. Sycamore, give me something awesome. Give me energy. A double colors energy. Okay, let's use Moonsault Stop. 60 damage because he destroyed my darn stadium. And afterwards, I'm I'm just gonna have to wait some time, buy some time until Marowak Break can come out. And the only energy left I have is strong energies because I. Okay, you, you get the point. Salamans, we have an army of Salamans charging up right behind us, and oh boy. Well, his deep hurricane cannot one-shot me. But he has, there's so many, there are 8 energies between us, so arrow balls, 160 damage. Goodbye, Lugia. And two prize guards, two prize guards. Uh, I'm gonna just send out uh, this, this little tiny Halucha. And let's go ahead and put a muscle band on Marowak Break. We're gonna give it a double colors energy because there's pretty much nothing else. And let's use... Let's use an Ultra Ball. What two cards do I not need? I'll drop out my Lysanders. I'll drop my Lysanders and we'll grab out a Marowak. I got Marowak Break in my hand. So let's go ahead and put this down. This is my last Marowak Break, so I'm definitely not gonna do Sycamore this turn. We're gonna grab this, get my final Halucha out. And I need something. And that something is going to be a Muscle Band. Perfect. So my deck is probably almost gone. Yep. So here we go. Muscle band on this Marowak. And we'll throw down Halucha. That's it. Alright. So now, stand there and look pretty for me. You're going to go down to this big Lugia. And hopefully we can use Marowak Brick and come back after this. And then we're going to have to deal with the Salamence. Ooh, that can hit pretty hard. Okay, it's it's got another energy on it. Can do use power how, but luckily my hand is small for now. For now, arrow ball. That's enough to KO at 80 damage. And now Marowak break. That has strong energy. Strong energy. Come on, come on. All right, here we go. Let's let's evolve my Marowak break. But I need more cards, so we're gonna use a verse seeker. Man, I'm gonna pull those rim rates out, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Come on. Sycamore. There's a chance they're all gonna be at the back of my deck, or they're in the prize cards section. Perfect and energy, just what I wanted. And fighting stadium. We got Marowak, so let's go ahead and evolve it. Okay, here you go, Marowak. And here we go. Let's use um, Muscle Man. I'll just drop it on one of these Luchas. Bone Revenge. Here we go. Take this. How much damage is gonna do? Two. 100 damage because he's got took out pretty much a lot of prize cards all right strong energy yes rim right now i didn't need you i didn't need you and you know what we got salamance is coming out can it do 100 yeah again with steam blast it can do it has to use steam blast which means oh i have to use marowak break in order to in order, in order to hit this all right steven that's gonna give him an energy and a support guard so for sure he can use steam blast but after that he's gonna be down so he is luckily we're at two prize cards and i won't go down after well i would just won't go down in one more shot so i still have a chance to come back i think i got this guys i think i got this all right he's charging up his second whoa he didn't put an energy on here he's supposed to use steam blast Oh, oh, so it survives in that case. I will take this advantage. I will charge up my uh, Marowak Break. I cannot use Sycamore. There's just way too many cards. Uh, I, I'm almost decking out. I'm almost decked out. Let's use Bone Revenge. Here we go. And 200 damage. Yes, one more prize card. One more prize card. He should have He should have used his Steam Blast. And then well, that, that made him get... Maybe give him a chance. So, all right, Shell Gun's out. I need one more prize card. Wally is gonna evolve. It's going to evolve into Salamans. Is it gonna take Marowak out? It probably. Shatter. Oh, 
one energy. But I get that's it. That's it, guys. One extra turn. Perfect. So he got another energy. He used power how or shatter. He probably should shatter because the stadium is helping me out. Sort of. It helps out Halucha. Well, yeah, that helps me out. So, Marowak break. You did a good job, man. You not you KO'd out two two EX Pokemon's, and this he'll he'll finish up for you. So, just waiting, just waiting for it to hit. Come on, come on, shatter. Yep, good good move. There we go. Lost my stadium, but one prize card down each. It got close, but that that. This is it. I'm gonna go to put in my final energy. We're gonna use Bone Revenge. Take revenge for that man. Whoa. 260 damage. Woohoo! Oh, that comeback. Big 260 damage knockout. Congratulations for making the end. But the match that stood out most was Gengar. I was locked. I was losing. But. I think he was scared of getting hurt through Halucha's retaliation that he used the 30 damage instead, which kept him safe. But let me knock this Gengar out. What lucky, lucky KO. But deck rating, how I feel overall about this deck. I was never losing, and when I was losing, I'm winning, and that's that's just so awesome. No other deck has that feeling. You lose prize cards, you're closer to losing. But really, you're closer to winning for this one. So, I think I need some Super Rod. Because there are definitely some cards I got this card that I really, really needed back. Energies, Octillaries in that last match, and sort of. So definitely add one in there. And, last or next video, we have Chestnut. I don't know if I should have saved this for last, but this was the toughest break to do. And, you know, you can't back away from a challenge. Four evolution cards, expensive energy costs, and, is, well, well, we have to pull it off because this, this can't back down. And last time we, there was Florga's break. It's technically a Florga's EX because that thing just stole the show and deleted everything. But Florga's break does help support the deck. Now, before I go, same thing as usual, please like, subscribe, because you're going to get more videos like this. If you're ready, follow my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much for supporting me. If you want some music to season your uh, Pokemon with, or just like it, you can find it on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, etc. Thank you very much, Integrals and Adventurals, for visiting my kitchen. Please come back and see me sometime. Bye-bye.